So before we get into today's video, I wanna let you know you have a chance to win this device, the Realme GT 5G. I have two of them to give away to you guys. Just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then go down to the comment section and leave your Twitter handle for your chance to win. Good luck. I'm a cracked mobile gamer. So today we are checking out the new Realme GT, which appears to be in some sort of special packaging here for us. We shall discover whatever it happens to be. First off, how about the nice envelope? Sheer Speed Flagship Realme GT Global Launch Event. Oh, wow. Check that out. Say hello to our new Realme GT flagship. Join our online launch June 15th. All right, and what is this? The stainless steel cooling system will change its color when you wave it over a lighter or anything that heats up. Whoa. So this is a similar technology, I guess, to what they're using inside the smartphone in order to cool it. Here comes a lighter. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's a moment right there. That was quicker than I expected. Look at now it's going back to purple. How about that for the demo? The little extra touch. They know they're going to be it's going to be an unbox therapy video. You might as well have some cool thing to show off. How about I flip to the other side? Bang! Cooling completely. Why don't I get the whole thing up to the blue? Look at that. Fresh. Cool. Inside the package. Cool, so that's the Realme GT. They've also included a 50 watt mini super dark charger. You know I get a little crazy about chargers and charger designs. Okay, fine, let's explore that. And then also the Realme Buds Air 2. So let's kick it off with the main attraction. This is the phone. I'll pull out the others while I'm at it. What do we have for specs? Oh, that's right, Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G. So flagship status for Realme as far as the GT goes. Inside this box is a 65 watt Super Dart charge uh, power brick. So this is another option for enhanced portability while still getting 50 watts. 120 Hertz Super AMOLED full screen Sony 64 megapixel triple camera setup. This is an eight gig model with 128 storage. Ah, oh, yes. Welcome to Realme family. Yes, a little case to get you up and running. It's like that smoke look, uh, clear, simple case. And yes, it is the exclusive finish on the back with the vegan leather in yellow and this black stripe uh, embracing the sort of automotive aspect of the GT line. I like any phone that's experimenting with textures beyond the typical glass back. Now you can get this with a more traditional finish on the back, but I think this is going to be the go-to. This makes it feel uh, more special for sure. Ooh. So there's like a mirror finish inside the Realme logo. And actually this close up here gives you a nice idea of the texture on there. So this does have like a leather like feeling to it, even though obviously it's vegan leather. Also the black strip has a pattern in it as well. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick it up, but there's a very subtle pattern on the black portion as well. Here you can see your camera setup. It is a triple camera setup, 64 megapixels on the main unit. As we look around, we have our Type-C connector down on the bottom. There is a headphone jack still, even though this is a flagship Snapdragon 888. You don't see that all that frequently, so that's kind of nice. A yellow accent on the power switch over here. that kind of ties in the design from the back. Other side of the device has your volume buttons, and then without even turning the screen on, you can see that there's a front-facing camera in the top left corner. This is your Type-C cable, and under here is your Super Dart charger. As mentioned, this is 65 watt capable, so it's a little bit larger, but that's tremendous power. But if you're looking for something even more portable, this is my first exposure to the 50 watt mini Type-C charger. This could be a cool compare. Oh, wow. Holy cow, that is very mini. Look at this little thing. 
how thin it is. Oh my goodness. I don't, I'm probably way too excited about that, but that is truly pocketable without being bulgy. I'm in the pocket now. Wow. And they still deliver 50 watts like that with the flip down prong? 50 watts? I know I like power, so 65 is 65, but you can get all the way to 50 with something that portable. They made moves here. They made moves there. They kept it slim even with the cable, which ties into the thing. So you got the slim cable to go with it. Pocketable as well, type C on both ends, black and yellow. And the whole package is as slim as can be. All right, now last up before we boot the phone up, these are the Realme Buds Air 2. Active noise cancellation, 25 hours total playback, obviously including the case. 88 milliseconds, super low latency, so that's important for the gamers. Obviously, Realme does expect you to do some gaming on this device, seeing as how it's packing flagship specifications. 10 millimeter hi-fi base boost driver, transparency mode is built in. 10 minutes of charge for 120 minutes of playback, so you have some fast charging in the earbuds as well. And actually, this whole thing ties together as well with the glossy black to go with the black accent on the phone. That's pretty cool. So this is what the charge case looks like. There's an LED indicator on the front. Pretty subtle branding as well. Look at that with the glossy, glossy. Get the yellow cape. Look at what I'm doing. It's all types of stylings over here. All right, we crack it open. You can see it's an in-ear style. So you have interchangeable ear tips by the looks of it. It's gonna give you more of a seal than the earbud that sits on the outside. Easy in and out to charge them up. Type C connector down on the bottom for charging the entire case. And as I look in the pack here, this is your remainder of interchangeable tips. So different sizes so you can get the best fit. And then also, again, with the yellow theme coming through, tiny little type C to type A cable to charge this up. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the main attraction. This is the Realme GT 5G. And that GT name is all about styling here. As mentioned, it's got that yellow and black finish on the back. I suppose you could apply the GT aspect to the fast refresh as well because it does feature a 120 hertz display. And as you can see, we gotta slow it down in the video recording just so you can spot the difference and see how buttery smooth things can be in 120 hertz land. If you happen to be watching this on a 60 hertz display, then that's kind of the best way to demonstrate that difference, but it is of course far snappier now as far as display size 6.43 inches it is a super amoled display as well with a touch sampling rate of 360 hertz i know gamers are going to like that particular specification also 91.7 percent screen to body ratio you have an in-display fingerprint scanner in order to unlock the device and it works as expected nice and snappy and sitting under the display now the included charger is a 65 watt super dart charger and it does have one of these fun animations that well i'm a fan of i always got to show this off because it makes you feel special when you're charging at that rate and you can watch it go up in real time and this one has like a cool orbiting effect going on but actually this other charger kind of captured my attention even more yes this one is only 50 watts but it's so slender and pocketable with the flat cable to go with it and i know i have a weird thing where i get a little bit too, too into chargers but i showed this one off around the studio to everybody everybody's like wait what that's 50 watts i could charge my laptop with that little thing and yeah i suppose in many cases you could also as far as specs are concerned i do have to mention you can get it with up to 12 gigs of ram depending on the configuration that you choose 256 storage uh, there's also an 8 gig of ram version with 128 storage that's actually the one that i have in front of me right here but i think so much of this has to do with the styling and branding here and the way it all fits together with the yellow and, and black which actually moves on through to the earbuds and into the cables and everything else
this, the Realme GT 5G is now the world's cheapest Snapdragon 888 phone. How about the fact you're getting a 120 hertz OLED display and 65 watt fast charging, $430. Like that's disruptive. It goes to show you what's happening elsewhere in the world. All right, so let's talk about these cameras real quick. This is a triple camera setup, including the main unit, 64 megapixel Sony sensor. There's also an ultra wide on there, eight megapixels if you want an even wider field of view up to 119 degrees. You can zoom in a little bit, of course it's a crop, and then you also have a macro lens in there for super close-ups. It's only a two megapixel unit with an aperture of f2.4. There's a super resolution mode, 64 megapixels, and then you've also got slow motion built in there as well. If you wanna take some slow mo shots for video, there's a night mode, which is also a must in the flagship department at this point. Inside of here, you got the Snapdragon 888. You're gonna to wanna to be able to take some night mode photos. You can do that over here. Front-facing camera, as you can see, a little selfie example. You can do the beard hair count yourself if you're interested in those kinds of things. And here's an example of slow-mo. So here is the selection for video modes up to 4K, of course also 1080p supported. There is some stabilization built in. Here you can see 4K video recording at 30 FPS. And then of course we also had to include this cool demo that shows off some of their cooling capabilities inside the device. It had this little color changing element. You hold the lighter up to it and you can see how some of that cooling tech works on the inside. And the cooling tech is important for sessions like this. I did a bunch of gaming on this device right here and actually it didn't heat up all that much in my hands. I think part of it is the texture on the back and probably some of it to do with the internal cooling capabilities as well. That was a glitch for sure, man. I took a thousand bullets, that dude.
back to normal soon, please. Keep it up. UAV online. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. UAV online. All right, mole gaming, mole gaming, big daddy cash. Y'all better watch out. <laughs> uh, MVP status. Big daddy cash. Yeah, I mean the the cool thing as well about this surface on the phone, it doesn't really get that hot, like as if it were glass or something. The leather texture, leather like texture. But it had 36 kills. Oh, 